my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. We have a tidy up that I didn't get in on Saturday because I forgot it. We have It's Sewing Machine Day, Quilts for Ukraine, and a few other things, including how to navigate on my website. So, okay, let's get to it. First, let's do tidying up. We'll give you that assignment first. If you have a desk area, because this is exactly what I need to tidy up, Clean your desk area today. That means wiping down your keyboard, your screen, your monitor, uh, all the behind the monitor. Yeah, can you tell this is what I need to do? It's like I actually have dust building up around the keys in my keyboard. Ah, yuck. So I need to go do all of that. So today your tidy up is to do that desk area. Piles of paper, whatever. Get it done. Get it done. All right, it is Sewing Machine Day, World Sewing Machine Day. So we celebrate our sewing machines and that's fabulous. I, <laughs> we love our machines, right? Many of us have more than one machine. So today I want you to celebrate your machine, show your machine on the group at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. My main machine, my main love right now is the Solaris. And that's what sits here in my videos all the time in the koala table. So this is my sweetheart, the Solaris. But I wanna show you a quilt I did called Let's Go Sew. And I know a few of you have made this. It is so fun to do and hang up. I had it hanging in my kitchen for quite a few years and then switched it out, uh, you know, just start switching them out. This I found that I used my fabric line from years ago when I made it to do that has the bobbins on it. So let's go sew as a digital pattern. You can download it at the link below or at my website today. It costs, uh, I don't know, it's not very much. <laughs> so, but it is one in my digital store. So I can't wait. If you've made my let's go sew already, show it, show it, show it. I can't wait to see. Okay, let's do quilts for Ukraine because we have some wonderful shout outs I wanna give uh, to everybody, to, to everybody who's donated, but there's three people I wanna give a special shout out to. So, so far we have now $234,782 raised for the children of Ukraine to help them uh, through UNICEF. Now I want to give the shout out uh, to the Melbourne, the Lakes of Melbourne Guild from Melbourne, Florida. They raised five hundred and fifty dollars. They kept they kept uh, a fund, I guess, for getting the patterns and donating extra. That is fantastic. Country Stitches donated one thousand one hundred dollars. They didn't say where they're located. But if you know who they are that donated, leave a message uh, down below in the YouTube comments. And then Hobby Sew in Australia is a, uh, it's like a, similar to a Joann's here. They have multiple locations and they did a fundraising drive. Uh, also, they put a little kit together and the funds from that also were collected. And they did one lump donation then from their various stores at $6,750. Holy cow, that is awesome. So we have raised so much. I still have to get the binding on mine. The charity quilt for me comes first uh, for Make-A-Wish and then my Ukraine quilt, which I will be sending over to the Lutheran World Relief so that it can be physically given to a person uh, and shipped, shipped to Ukraine. So that is, those are my two bindings that I have to get done. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do a little um, fun. Marla, who is our 80,000 subscriber um, person, she got the quilt that I was giving away. And so Marla sent me a picture. Let me just, I'll just pop the picture up and I'll talk because she said, um, you know, she is so excited about it. She's hanging it in her home, uh, but there she is outside with it. And then she told me that, yes, that is a sewing machine she has on the ground near her. Uh, what it is, it was an old rusted machine. She saw where somebody had made them into tractors. Uh, so she found some front wheels for roller skates and then some, she found a turning wheel and then a cowboy to ride on it. And they found the Woody the Toy uh, Cowboy 
and her husband welded all this stuff together. His name is Randy, and he's from Texas. Well, he's not, I don't know if he's from Texas, but he's a Texas Longhorn fan who is all painted orange and black. So Marla, I am so excited you sent this picture so that we could see you with your quilt. It just, it looks like you, my dear, it does. Very happy and exuberant. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have some little tutorials here. I have two of them because I feel like, uh, you know, I want to give some education on how to find things on my website. As many of you know, I've been in business like 22 years and I started even before that. So probably about 24 years and yeah, my website is what it is. It has a lot of information over 24 years and because I do all of the work, that means it kind of stays, it, I kind of build it and I don't go back and revamp it. It's just too much. I can't do that and other things. It would take months. So the navigation part is not difficult. It's just a top down. And I want to show you on a video I did so that you can see if you know my name, if you can't remember the name of the Sew Along website, which is I Love to Make Quilts, you can always just go to my name, patsloan.com, www.patsloan.com. Let me show you the video and it'll just show you how you get to the components. Let's start. If you don't remember the name of my website, just know my name, www.patsloan.com. And away we go. Here is my main landing page. When you scroll down, I have all these different links that you take you where you need to go. Sign up for the article, the newsletter, um, join my Facebook community. Here's my shopping page, my videos, and the Sew Along website. So if we go there, then learn to quilt and some other things down here. So there, let's go to the Sew Along website because that's where you're going to find all the project pages. And I just created a bunch of new ones. So we have right there all the current ones. And we have the camping, the table topper book, Sew Along. Hello Birdie is new. We talked about that one. Uh, Nature Walk, which is the panel. I've got Beautiful Morning. The kit is, is out there. So you can go pick up your kit. The Strawberry Quilt, which we were waiting on the kits to be made. I have the mysteries from the free mysteries from um, Fat Quarter Shop, the Boo Crew, and the Christmas Time. And here's some that are ongoing. Will You Be My Neighbor, Midnight Moon, The Secret Lives of Color, Charity, Make a Wish, and there's the calendar and some other things. And when you scroll down, there's also some other fun things, how to properly ship a quilt, um, sew and flip tips, and then more great things to know, quilt tops for charity, quilt novels. So if you want to read a novel that has quilting in it, how to make a hanging sleeve, and then down here are completed sew along. So we kind of, um, you know, anything that you were looking for that you did in the past or you just found out about it, you can look down here. We're going to go back up to the top and I'm going to click through and show you what the format of the project page is. So if I want to make the nature walk, which I'm sure you do with my cute panel from Birdsong, here's two pictures with the blue panel and the pink panel. I've made the blue panel for, for the so long, I'm going to make the pink one. I'll tell you a little description, details of when it runs, uh, how often you'll get um, some you know assignment, what it's using, some other you know, timing, um, the fabric used. And then for this one, there's a download of the free pattern. So if I click this, it will open a new window and there's the pattern. And so this is what you will print off. So I can close that and I'll be back at this page. And then here is a little table of you know, as we do each section, I put a picture in it and link it to the article if there's an article. And then there's photo sharing. This is a service I pay for, and if you want to, you can, you know, add a picture. It says add your link, but it's really a picture that you put in there. So the, the project pages look pretty much like this. If you want to go back to see all the projects again, you just hit the title at the top and it will take you back. Uh, if you've never got the notices, click this. If you're looking for my Facebook group, click that. Here are just some other um, navigation links at the top. 
Sometimes I need to clean things up. There's some older ones up there. They're not bad. They're just older. They probably don't need to be there. But that's what happens when I'm the only person doing all the maintenance on here. So that's the way it is. Let's see, like for the Boo Crew, which is coming up soon, um, the details, see, we're waiting. So we don't have a date for that one yet, but there's the size. It's a great size project. Uh, the fabric I'm using and then uh, there'll be a cross stitch section so I've got that for the cross stitch and then here's all the links so that you can go pick up the things that are available now which is mostly the cross stitch but you can see the you can pre-order the kit which is not done in what I'm using I'm using a different fabric uh, but you can't you know they didn't show any of that yet oh and it always sometimes it picks up a few other things like there picked up that says boo crew cute fabric so there, if you wanted to reserve the mystery, once again, it opens in a new window. So that is a little about how to navigate. Uh, sometimes I'll put a video in there so that it'll show you, you know, What's some, going on the some part of what this project is. Uh, here I am. So I had to start where that happens in this particular video. So if I scoot ahead, I'm showing you the cross stitch stuff, which I already have. All right, so back to the main uh, page here. I love to make quilts. Here is my online store. So that's how that looks. Up oh, and there is National Sewing Machine Day. Yes, see it's over here on the project page. I mean, on the pattern page for all my digital patterns. All right, my friend, this is a little peek at how to navigate the things on my website. It's really simple. There's project page and you just go to the project you're looking for and get the information and be sure that you've signed up for the articles and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you always remember that there is a project page um, so that it, most of the time that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the project because maybe you didn't pick up a block or you're just starting or you wanted to see what it was about. Uh, that way you can just get to the project pages and all that information is in there. Now the other place that there's tons of information is here at YouTube. And YouTube has a very good search ability. Their searching is on the words in the title, the words that I speak because it's all closed caption. And so all those words are searchable. And then there's some other keywords I type in each time. Uh, and you can search easily. And so I have a little video for you on that. Looking for things on my videos, you just go to my video page, um, which is Pat Sloan, and look for the magnifying glass. Click the magnifying glass and put in a search term. Let's do design wall. And it comes up with videos that talk about my design wall. Generally, the first one is um, maybe the most obvious or has the most information, or I might have used it in the title. Uh, so there you go. It does search what I say and that is part of the search terms because of the closed caption everything that i talk about in my videos is saved let's do inset seams which i just did the other day here here's the video inset seam it's in the title but then there's one that i did five months ago when i was doing the last block for uh, the old school block of the month and then you can scroll down and see other things. Now, some of you were asking about how to do a custom quilt border, and there was a video that I did. I knew I did it a couple months back, so that'll tell you how I went about doing the custom border. So there's all kinds of things you can do by using this search. Uh, that is really the fastest way. You can also just go out to a new tab and search Pat Sloan. Uh, let's see inset seam and when you do that it comes up with that video I just did and some other videos where I mentioned it it has uh, some blog posts there's one from 2003 I don't know what I'm talking about how do I really feel about pressing seams open from 2002 so those are articles so that's another way that you can find you can also find the sew alongs like this so if I wanted to find summer camp, there I go, Pat Sloan summer camp. It would come up with my sew along website and it goes right to the summer camp project page, which I just showed you in the other video. Okay, let's do a mail call to wrap up. 
I have from Barbara in Florida. First she sent me a little note. She printed off a picture of her string bean quilt that she did from our sew along and used it as her note. And she was going through some <clears throat> old magazines and found the article of me that was done in 2004 in American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine. So if you have June 2004 of American Patchwork, there's an article on me. They came to my home and did this. And then the other one is from Claudia in Georgia. Look at that pretty quilt. And she sent me some selvages, yes, and fun, fun, fun Girl Scout fabric. Look at this. It has GS in green for Girl Scout. I didn't even know there was Girl Scout fabric. So this is awesome. I appreciate it so much. She thought maybe I can fit it into our um, summer camp quilt. And I think I'm going to try to. I'm sure there is somewhere in the background or section I can put the piece of this Girl Scout uh, fabric. That is so cool. Okay, if you are wanting to make yourself a sewing machine quilt to celebrate your sewing machine, you can make mine because it's fun and fits in your studio and your sewing space really well. <laughs> okay, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.